All right, so we got a, a Velodyne VA806, looks like. Um, doesn't say what year. I'm sure you can look it up. So this is like their shit end. Um, this is a Formica covered um, particle board. Um, and it has, it's, it, well, it shows a crossover, shows a volume control, phase, speaker level input, uh, line level input, line level output. And this heat sink says that it's about 150 watts, maybe 200 watts. Um, the driver is a six and a half with an eight inch passive. Uh, the foam is all rotted out on it. It still works. It uh, ohmed out at seven ohms. And uh, it's kind of a little peculiar. There's an inductor in there and a capacitor, so. Um, which, it's already at eight ohm. I can see if they put like, like the inductor added a little bit of resistance or something. Um, but I don't know, whatever. It's a, it's a steeper crossover, I guess. It doesn't really, whatever. I don't want to say it doesn't need to be in there. Obviously, somebody put it in there because it needed to be. Otherwise, they wouldn't pay that expense. <clears throat> a couple things I thought was weird. Um, because it has an 8-inch um, passive, uh, the 8-inch passive actually doesn't have any mass. So it's just a, a loose, floppy cone. And so what I'm going to do is put in uh, one of these. I get a bunch of these. These are all just stamped. Uh, I think they're about 8 millimeter thick. Uh, just stamp pieces. Um, David Moore, when I first bought out uh, Concept, bought a bunch of these off of me. I was like, sure. And he just uses them for weights as uh, on dust caps, which is what I use them for too. Um, but you know, they, they probably were for a passive radiator where you just put this mass on there and whatever. Um, I'm just gonna guess and just put one on there and epoxy it in place. One thing that I didn't like was, uh, I did not like, was that the dust cap was pushed in and then I was like, is there? And I reached in there and there's like, again, there's nothing there. So it's just a spider, it's very compliant. The passive is still, is still in good shape. So what I'm gonna do is seal it off. That way there's no pressure pushing on the dust cap directly. And so I'm gonna epoxy this in place uh, with a little epoxy bead. Uh, it's big enough to go in and out real easy so it's not gonna hit the, uh, the, the, the frame. Uh, so it should be fine. And, um, and then I'm replacing it with a fancy, it's not that fancy, um, a uh, fancy glass fiber cone. This one, which I got from uh, MCM. It's a uh, MCM Select. There's the model number, 553550.8 ohm. And uh, it, it's really good. It has some uh, good output at 40 hertz. Um, some okay excursion, about five millimeter. I could have gone with like, um, if I wanted to go like Gonzo, um, I would have gone with the um, Recoil uh, Dual 4 and then wired in series. Uh, Cause I, what I did was I just cut it out. Let's see if I have the ring still. I already checked it. So um, when I saw the eight inch passive radiator, I was like, okay, I see what they did. Uh, you, I can still use it, use an eight in, in this box. It's, it, the size isn't really going to matter. I don't know where it's at. Anyways. Uh, so I'm replacing the six and a half inch with an eight upgrade. And then, uh, this new driver should be the same wattage, which is about, this one's about a hundred Watts. This new one's going to be about 200 Watts, uh, at eight ohm. And then, uh, that passive will definitely be a little bit lower. Uh, of course it's removable from that side as well. So if I do need to get in there and tweak it, um, I'm not really concerned about that. I'm, I'm sure if it just plays, somebody will be happy with it. Um, and because it's Velodyne and because it has the original grill, uh, and because I'm going to put that new driver on it, uh, it should put it at right around 200, maybe 250. So I'm going to put, post it for 250. I bought the whole thing, I think, for $35, $40 just for the amplifier. So you can sell the amplifier alone, especially if you're like in a remote area and um, there's not a lot of people that want something like this in your area. Just uh, uh, use uh, the the box for car audio for your use. Uh, you can even put two eights in it if you want it two eights sealed, and then uh, and then sell the the um, the amplifier as a factory replacement for you know ask like 150 and then like take 100 or something like that because you only have 30 40 dollars into it. Um, but yeah, that's that's the modification and it's going to be tits McGee, and then um, 
later on, probably like in a week or something like that, I'll, I'll post a, a link back at this video because this will be like documentation. Um, and then I'll do a sweep on it and check out the frequency response uh, just to see where the FS is and where it's peaking and stuff like that. But no, it should be really good. And this will be really nice for somebody to finally own a, a Velodyne. Um, not Velodyne's best work, but again, sometimes it's, it's in your favor to take advantage of the brand work that somebody has already done for you. Like it, whether it's JL Audio, whether it's Rockford, whether it's, in this case, it's Velodyne. So just a, a friendly way to make some money and, uh, help somebody get something that normally they would pay three, $400 for, you know, you get it to them for half price and you make a little profit and you know, you can buy a prostitute. So. Love you guys. Talk to you later.